All right, folks, here's old Grandpa Gary G. Navarre in the UP, but I ain't in the UP right now. We're down by Cross Village. And we got Jeff Klein here, old college buddy of mine, is an Anagama fireman, likes to burn wood, make pottery. So we're going to take a little look at his kiln here that he built down by Cross Village. It looks like a wood pile, I see. That looks like a kiln type of wood pile. Oh, you can give a greeting there, Jeff. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Don't worry, it won't be the world. Probably about 50 people in the <laughs> next year will see this. Two or three clay arters and a couple of clay craft crafters. No, we got our fans. We got our regular fans. You got your regulars? Yeah. yeah. Excuse the place, a bit of pit. We haven't cleaned it up since the fire. Let me go turn some lights on here. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Yeah, we'll get some lights here. Ooh, nice. Nice big pots. Yeah. Wow, look at that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool, man. Well, here's the band. Ooh, the lights aren't going to behave. We could get the other camera out with the spotlight in it. Oh, okay. See, that's what I was thinking, that terrace there. Maybe that's what I need to do, is just set that terrace further back. Remember, mine was up here in the other one, and it burned it out. Yeah, that area back there, that ledge is where I put my plates, because uh, I get a, it builds up your coal piles right there. Uh-huh. Because the ledge kind of stops it. You get a pile built up in there? Yeah. Yeah, this looks more manageable than that uh, thing that the art center built. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. I wish it was a little bit wider, but the uh, size of the length works out very well. Mm -hmm. No problem getting the tail up the temp. Um, cone 11 bet, bet in the back was great last firing. I ended up not using my damper. I just ended up with a chimney cap. <clears throat> Still cleaning these up, eh? I, I took my best pots and I took them down state. Uh, mm. Most of this is just kind of like what's left. I mean, there's still a lot of good cups um, that I need to clean up. Um, probably because I dropped cone 11. They, uh, in the back, I got it, I had my, some of my glazes ran a little bit more than expected. They were glazed down to here. I, they usually move a little bit, but not that much. Wow. So. A lot of cleanup for. Yeah. Now, see, these they call on Antique Roadshow, this plucking they call manufacturer defects, and it doesn't detract from the value of the piece. And, uh, we're at, well, that's a little extreme. That, oh, that's no good. Yeah. That's no good. It's just, I, I keep some of them for like a record of... Uh, Your tests? Yeah, and what happened on it. Like Kind of like this one, because the way it thinned out, and I got this line right here. Yeah. But uh, um, other than that, and I'll just, I'll just draw, I'll write right on them which glaze it is, save them in a, in a bin. Um, so, because I don't like my black stain very much. I like, I'd like to have it a little bit different, so I want to tweak yeah. that. Yeah. I got way too much amber in this firing. I want to get away from that. Uh, what I'm most excited about are my chinos. I love this. I love, love this fat, uh, cracking kind of sh chino. Um, I don't like it rounded. I'm looking for one that um, to dial it in so it doesn't round the edge. It's more like a 
broken ice is what I'm looking for, but it's, I'm getting close. Mm -hmm. You know, it just takes years to do that, uh, figure all that stuff out. But I've got, uh, you know, I've got like my my fl crack flash slip is looking pretty good. Um, I'm liking what that's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm experimenting with a new flash slip. That turned out really nice. <clears throat> you know, it's uh, uh, it's kind of doing the same thing that the old Avery did, and that's what's on this one is the old Avery. But mm -hmm. I like the it's a little bit lighter and it's just so dark. So I'm adjusting that, and that's looking really good. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing I've got going on is uh, I'm trying to I'm dealing with a migrating copper. Uh, there is no the glaze is only up to up to here. All this that came through is from the copper on the inside. Now I'm not excited about the red in the past, and I can show you later um, how it migrated green through. It's just awesome. And it migrates the, through the body. It migrates through the body. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's uh, and I I put these cups in a certain spot to try to make that happen, but I got too much reduction, so I get this kind of I get this red. Oh. Um, which probably some folks like. Not my flavor, though. This one's a little closer to what I like. I like I like uh, I like it to be a little bit more greenish mm -hmm. instead of so red. Although that doesn't make a bad cup, you know. It's just not my taste. Somebody's gonna like it there, though. Yeah. I mean, somebody else you will like it. it. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. I like that purpley red. And uh, my yeah. rebate ran like a son of a gun. Oh wow! See, it ran way too far, and it was only glazed like down to here. Wow! Uh, but I love the way it pales out, um, and you have rich areas going on. Yeah, so that's I think that's really nice. So. Mm -hmm. Now, here's one thing that's interesting: is uh, let's see. So we got. This clay body and this clay body were right next to each other. Look how dry and matte that is. Now I got crystal formations on this one. Yeah. Uh, which I didn't get on this. But why is this so crusty and this is so fluxed out? It's the clay body, obviously. But uh, um, I'm surprised at this why it's so dry, considering the temp that I've got. And they're right next to each other. They're right next to the and same that's, spot. That's the funny thing about wood. No, that's the funny thing about the clay body. Oh, it is the clay, clay body, body you choose is extremely important. And there was uh, some glaze on the outside? Just glazed up to here. Just, just up just to there. Lip. And so that's the surface on the back side. Yep. And that's the surface on the... Wow. And why is it so... That's just your ash combination with the clay body. That's right. So your clay body is extremely important that you use. There was no glaze on this. No glaze on that, other than this area right here. So this is just the surface fluxing. Yep. And this is the surface fluxing with ash. Right. Yeah. Wow, maybe that's what I was. That's real why common. some uh, some things were looking so different yeah, in, uh, I when I fired. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Is that a? There's another one similar. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, that's what I'd be getting. That real dry, right. crusty, and it is kind of interesting if, yeah, it, it, if it comes nice. out nice and the crystals around the edges. Yeah. Yeah, I know it. There's. I got some. Uh, like this one, that that's really nice. I don't know if you can see that with your camera or not. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, we got good light here. Okay. Yeah, it's good enough. Yeah. So you can tell which. So you know these things would need a lot of sanding. It's like the same same clay body, uh, raw. See now that I, I would just take four hundred grit. Oh yeah. And sand call it, it good four yep. to six hundred, and yep. take that just that little bit of roughness off. Yep. And that's what they do. Yeah, and I'm not saying that it's bad. It's just uh, I'm looking for I'm I'm looking to you know omit, omit that stuff. <laughs> yeah, me too. My fingers, my fingers were raw. What's that rock? Guy's trying to play guitar. My fingers are bleeding. <laughs> so the Uribe is a it's a copper base. Yeah. Green. Yep. Nice. You know, a lot of people use a rebay in, in wood firing. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm either gonna have a rebay firing or I'm gonna have a chino fire. I'm not gonna blend the two. I get too much, uh, too much copper and it flashes, it, it's splashing other pots. Um, yeah, I noticed it, that. Yeah, because it burns off, especially when I put, like my plate. <clears throat> 
Ooh, don't breathe that, dude. Yeah, like my plates, when I put these things down in the fire coal pile, uh -huh. they, uh, when, the, when the copper goes down in the coal pile and burns away, it starts splashing things throughout the kiln. Oh. So I just, I need to... I need to play that. It didn't. I didn't get too much flashing this time because I didn't put a ton of a rebay in there. But you know, constantly trying to work it out. Mm -hmm. Coal pile did pretty good. Uh, you know, I like these long gate. This one got stuck to a brick, so this is ruined. But you know, I got some good ash effect on that. Wow. Yeah. Uh, pot's trash though, and that was kind of disappointing. Uh, because I, I, these are my, my favorites. I love firebox pots. That's why Fire on Agamas is for the firebox. Mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, I, all the other, all the other, my, my good firebox pots are out of here right now. Yeah. Let's see what else. Yeah. But, um, Boy, that's something. <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> Yeah, pull it out of there. I was trying to. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so, you know, I like, uh, I like stoneware in wood firing, but, uh, you know, a lot of brown just, just gets to be too much for me. I kind of like, uh, so I play with a lot of porcelains in the, in the firebox and in the kiln. Mm -hmm. I get, I get subtlety in my, in my throwing, uh, more so because of the fine grain in the porcelain um, uh, that I like, and that some of the detail comes through better than stoneware. Uh, that's just where I'm at right now. And the color is different than all being brown. Um, like I said, I like it. I like brown just fine. But Tony Cleno was saying, uh, wood fire, you get brown pots or shiny brown pots, and you get tired of it. But the thing is, if you change your body, and add glazes, you're not going to get brown pots. You'll get something else. Yeah, well, I mean, I get some really nice grays. We gotta go, let's go into the studio. Let's, let's, let me show you some pots. I'm really excited about it. All right. Let's go in the studio. Upside down. We'll let it. There we go. Okay, here's another another firebox pot. Yeah, it's upside down. I really like that effect of being upside down. You get those uh, big shells from Walmart? Yeah, I know. I get those from uh, Shell Horizons. They get the best prices. Um, I had some really dramatic effects on other pots I've done with big crystal formations and things like that. This one, uh, this one got, I think, got tapped by some wood and kind of stuck to the floor. I didn't have it up high enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, look at the. So you built the crystals. Something to stand it on. Yep. And then a pad like a thing. Yeah, this is the first one I ever lost the top to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With some really nice stuff going on. It's too bad that one got lost. But then again, that one's black and white, which is kind of nice. Mm-hmm. Well, at least it shows you where you can go with it. Yeah, and check this one out. This is, I've been experimenting with this migrating copper thing. <coughs> There's no glaze on the exterior of this. This is just a um, raw clay body with a copper glaze on the inside. Wow. And uh, because the body fluxes, the copper starts coming through. And I've had some more dramatic effects than this. Um, but it's, that's experimenting with that. Copper coming through and iron, iron saturates coming through. Wow, that's something. Yeah. This isn't a bad looking pot either. Like I said, the good stuff is already down the Mm-hmm. All right, well. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the kind of thing that I'm looking for for my elongated pots out of the, out of the firebox area. Wow. Uh, I mean, look, the color in here is just great. I love this ash effect. I don't mind the crusty. Uh, different colors than just brown. <clears throat> um, yeah. Yeah. This is a real jewel. And then, so that's one type of clay body. This is a, these are the same two clay bodies, different firings, and I really love this form. I like the form on this one a lot better. The effect is much more dramatic on this one. This one's still nice, nice and subtle. Mm -hmm. Or not so subtle, but not as dramatic as this one anyway. Right. <clears throat> and then, 
This one's another clay body, another porcelain. Uh, turns gray. Um, this is what I was expecting out of this firing. It's kind of white going through the gray. I got some of it, but not as dramatic on this one. This is from the first firing we did here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really a nice looking pot. Mm -hmm. And then oh, flash slip effects. An old one I did. Really nice. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. You don't see them like that too much. Lots of drama. Wow, it looks like an agate. Yeah. Thompsonite. Mm. <laughs> so that was that was laying like that. Really a nice pot. I'm not selling that one because I'll never make one like that again. Keep that. Oh wow, it looks even better from a distance. Now you can. It's all like uh, some of the. Uh, sandstone layering there in uh, Grand Canyon. Buddy had some. Oh God, am I far away from it? That's a little picture. <laughs> so much my but uh, he had little slate pieces of stone. You know, just like rivers of color, just all, yeah. you know, like this. Yeah. And this is what uh, this is what sent me on the whole migrating copper thing. It's a crummy little cup that they had in Shenstone's kiln back in the 90s. But there's no glaze on the exterior of this thing. Wow. It was, it's just, it just migrated through the body. It was a body as I was experimenting with that fluxed. Um, and, uh, like this, there's no glaze here. This came through the clay body itself. It almost looks like it's lit up from the inside. Hmm. And that's, that's where I started on this whole migrating copper journey thing. Still trying to work it out. But, mm -hmm. Yeah. Boy, that's amazing. There's another one that later, this is fired in Shenstone's kiln too, with another attempt at that clay body. Uh, there were, it migrated through, <coughs> it also ran down. But, so do you put a flux in the body to help it pull the copper through? Uh, yeah, you're just, you're just adjusting uh, your, your, your clay body flux. Uh, depends on much, uh, how dirty your porcelains are. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That kind of thing. So I got that, and like I said, I like, I really like the, the whole. Uh, More like crawl. that as you're trying to get that sharpness. Yeah. Like but it, I mean, it's a, like a rounded sharpness. It's not like a, it'll cut you. No, it won't cut you. Uh, these guys but it's are just smooth enough. Closer, but when I'm, when oh yeah, I the see. edges aren't so rounded. I see, but that's more defined. That's, it's got a crispness. Yeah, right. yeah, and these were in the back of the kiln, so I'm going to play a lot with this next time. Much more pots I can't sell, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> but I built another kiln so I could do functional wear uh, instead of, uh, you know, something that's a little bit more palatable maybe to for folks, uh, a little bit more pedestrian, but, mm -hmm. you know, still unique, still wood fire. Yeah. So I want to use the Anagama kiln for art pots, and I want to use the, the uh, I don't know if it's going to be a Novo or some kind of cross cross draft kiln. Mm -hmm. uh, use that for more functional. Work. On that slab out there. That's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the tour. Oh, you just threw some grit in there. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the one I thought I was saying. Here's a here's kind of like what I was looking for from those cups. See how it's more greenish. This is from the uh -huh. second firing. Mm. Uh, migrated. I like. I like that effect. is really nice. This is what I was expecting from. This is from the first firing. I really love this this cup uh, with the cracked slip on it and no glaze over it or anything like that. Just the ash effect. And this is how it kind of turned out in this firing. You know, it, it didn't quite see where the ash hit it. It didn't quite do what this one did. Mm -hmm. Same clay body. You can see how it, the clay body by itself will migrate a gray because it has a chino on the inside and a high flux body, uh, and by itself would be really nice. And that's, not, that's something I, I've done in the past. Comes out a nice gray, um, and that's another thing I'm going to play with next time instead of having uh, this kind of activity on there. But this is a nice, really nice cup. I love this. Yeah. Stuff. yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's got something going on all over. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been playing with that crack slip for years. You know, that's, I don't know what I got here. This little base. I don't know when I, that's a nice V 
view on that vase. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice to see you kept at it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have much choice anymore. I can't stop. I know what that's like. Yep. So I keep these pots kind of like a record, you know? Yeah. Yep. If you look at one and you can think about it, and then they'll say, oh, there's a spot I want to go in that direction. Yeah. Here's a, here's a kind of neat. Here's where the copper, the copper migrated. This got stuck. It was down in the coal pile in the little... Hole that we got the copper migrated through. That's amazing. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that's what I was ending up with sometimes that I couldn't understand, because some of the glazes had copper on the inside. Yeah. But I didn't know they would do that. It would come through the. I know you can, you know, get things to leach out onto the surface if you let them set a little while. Right. You know, like even over the months, sometimes more will leach out. And then yeah, she knows the salts and she knows can come through. Yeah. No doubt. Well, so that's what happens when you stick the clay for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Bump, still bumping along. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jeff. That was a good little tour. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hope. Hope you folks enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the kind of thing that I'm looking for for my elongated pots out of the, out of the firebox area. Wow. Uh, I mean, look, the color in here is just great. I love this ash effect. I don't mind the crusty. Uh, different colors than just brown. <clears throat> um, yeah. Yeah. This is a real jewel. And then, so that's one type of clay body. This is a, these are the same two clay bodies, different firings, and I really love this form. I like the form on this one a lot better. The effect is much more dramatic on this one. This one's still nice, nice and subtle. Mm -hmm. Or not so subtle, but not as dramatic as this one anyway. Right. <clears throat> and then, this one's another clay body, another porcelain. Uh, turns gray. Um, this is what I was expecting out of this firing. It's kind of white going through the gray. I get some of it, but not as dramatic on this one. This is from the first firing we did here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really a nice looking pot. Mm -hmm. And then oh, flash slip effects. An old one I did. Really nice. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. You don't see them like that too much. Lots of drama. Wow, it looks like an agate. Yeah. Thompsonite. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that was, that was laying like that. Really a nice pot. I'm not selling that one because I'll never make one like that again. Keep that. Oh, wow, it looks even better from a distance. Now you can, it's all like uh, some of the... Uh, sandstone layering there in uh, Grand Canyon. Buddy had some. Oh God, am I far away from it? That's a little picture. <laughs> so much of my camera. But uh, he had little slate pieces of stone. You know, just like rivers of color. Just all, yeah. you know, like this. Yeah. This is what uh, this is what sent me on the whole migrating copper thing. It's a crummy little cup that they had in Shenstone's kiln back in the 90s. But there's no glaze on the exterior of this thing. Wow. It was, it's just, it just migrated through the body. It was a body as I was experimenting with that fluxed. Um, and uh, like this, there's no glaze here. This came through the clay body itself. It almost looks like it's lit up from the inside. Hmm. And that's, that's where I started on this whole migrating copper journey thing. Still trying to work it out. But, Mm -hmm. yeah. Boy, that's amazing. Another one. The, the later, this is fired in Shenstone's kiln too. With another attempt at that clay body. Uh, there, were, it migrated through. <clears throat> it also ran down. But, so, do you put a flux in the body to help it pull the copper through? Uh, yeah, you're just, you're just adjusting 
uh, your, your, your clay body flux uh, depends on which, uh, how dirty your porcelains are. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. That kind of thing. So I got that. And like I said, I like I really like the, the whole. Um, More like draw. that as you're trying to get that sharpness. Yeah, but it, I mean, it's a, like a rounded sharpness. It's not like a it'll cut you. No, it won't cut you. Uh, these guys but it's are just guys smooth are enough. Closer, but when I'm, when oh yeah, I the see. edges aren't so rounded. I see, but that's more defined. It's, it's got a crispness. Yeah, right. yeah, and these were in the back of the kiln, so I'm going to play a lot with this next time. Much more pots I can't sell, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> but I'm building another kiln so I can do functional wear uh, instead of, uh, you know, something that's a little bit more palatable maybe to for folks, uh, a little bit more pedestrian, but, mm -hmm. you know, still unique, still wood fired. Yeah. So I want to use the Anagama kiln for art pots, and I want to use the, the uh, I don't know if it's going to be a Novo or some kind of cross cross draft kiln. Mm -hmm. uh, use that for more functional. Work. On that slab out there. That's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the tour. Can we just threw some grit in there. Or yeah, yeah. That's that's the one I fire sound. Here's a here's kind of like what I was looking for from those cups. See how it's more greenish. This is from the uh -huh. second firing. Mm. Uh, migrated. I like. I like that effect. is really nice. This is what I was expecting from. This is from the first firing. I really love this this cup uh, with the cracked slip on it and no glaze over it or anything like that. Just the ash effect. And this is how it kind of turned out in this firing. You know, it, it didn't quite see where the ash hit it. It didn't quite do what this one did. Mm -hmm same clay body you can see how it, the clay body by itself will migrate a gray because it has a chino on the inside in a high flux body uh, and by itself would be really nice and that's, not, that's something I, I've done in the past comes out a nice gray um, and that's another thing I'm going to play with next time instead of having uh, this kind of activity on there but this is a nice, really nice cup I love this yeah and, uh, wow yeah it's got something going on all over yeah yeah so I've been playing with that crack slip for years. You know, let's, I don't know what I got here. This little vase. I don't know when I, that's a nice view on that vase. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's nice to see you kept at it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have much choice anymore. I can't stop. I know what that's like. Yep. So I keep these pots kind of like a record, you know? Yeah. Yep. If you look at one and you can think about it, and then they'll say, oh, there's a spot I want to go in that direction. Yeah. Here's a, here's a kind of neat. Here's where the, cup where the copper migrated. This got stuck. It was down in the coal pile in a little hole. Mm -hmm. Then we got the copper migrated through. That's amazing. Yeah. Maybe that's what I was ending up with sometimes that I couldn't understand. Because some of the glazes had copper on the inside. Yeah. But I didn't know they would do that. It would come through the... I know you can, you know, get things to leach out onto the surface if you let them set a little while. Right. You know, like even over the months, sometimes more will leach out. And then yeah, she knows the salts and she knows can come through. Yeah. No doubt. Well, so that's what happens when you stick the clay for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Bump, still bumping along. <laughs> All right, thanks, Jeff. That was a good little tour. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hope, hope you folks enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.